Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course, I'm here with the most beautiful boy in the whole wide world, Mr. Angana. And look at her. <laughs> Looking too. This is Sarah. If you guys don't remember Sarah, that means you haven't watched all my YouTube videos. So go back and check them out. She is absolutely amazing. We need Sarah in our life. First of all, she's a magnet. <laughs> Every single person on the property absolutely adores her. She's good with all of the animals. And strangely, like every single thing I try to teach her, she's like, um, I don't understand this human, I'm but I'm very, very happy that she's here with us. Probably for this video right now, the most important thing is she actually raised Sagriva with Cody. So that's why Angada loves her so much. And she has the bigger hyena. So this is actually a video about the hyena, not about Sarah, although we love Sarah. So first thing in the morning, the hyena's gotta eat and he needs fresh formula, right? So I'm gonna show you guys really quick how to make formula for a hyena. Uh, we start with the powder. This just gives him, or her, don't know what sex it is, all of the nutrition it needs. But we do have to add a couple of things, so I guess it's not all the nutrition. But this is the baseline. I do actually wanna thank you guys for watching my videos and watching them all the way to the end because that is helping us buy some of these really essential foods for the animals. This formula comes in five pound bags and it costs $80 a bag. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching these videos and helping us uh, to feed and care for all the wild animals on the property. So we start with water and powder. We're gonna blend that up really good. Oh, you're gonna help, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's so helpful. All right, we got that one really good. <laughs> You're crazy. He is enjoying his apple, but he likes to, you know, participate in everything. This actually is gonna make sure that everything comes out good for the hyena. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, this is very important. And this is adding a bunch of fat. They need a ton of fat. These guys are growing like puppies and eat as much fat as possible. Um, we're also gonna add a little more fat and probiotics. Make sure that their tummies feel good. Yeah, oh look at that, I'm making a big mess. We're gonna blend that all up really good. The baby hyena drinks at least four of these a day. So growing fast, eating a ton of food, not ready to eat meat yet. We have to wait on that a little bit because we wanna make sure that the animal is old enough that when it gets the meat, it knows how to process it. So we would actually start with like a baby food, um, like a cooked meat, and then slowly introduce it to a raw meat. So first thing in the morning, feed it its bottle and take it out to play with Argos. You guys ready to see it play with Argos? Let's go. starting to earn its spots. Ooh. Look at its face, it's lightened up. Right there on its neck, you can see some spots coming in. It's growing so fast. And we're gonna see if it wants to play with Argos out here. The reason I say we're gonna see is because Argos is a little bit worried about the film guy. It's okay, Argos will figure it out. But Argos is here to teach the hyena that everything is good and happy. So you can't be afraid of the guy filming. Hi, you can't be afraid. What do you think? Hi! You can, oh, well the hyena's not afraid of him. <laughs> Go get him, Argos. Go get him. So no, that's just the, <laughs> the hyena's saying hi. <laughs> We're actually out here. If you look at this giant area here, one of the reasons why I bring them out here is because this is where the guests are gonna interact with this hyena. So I wanna keep bringing him to this space or her um, to make sure that, that it's totally comfortable with coming out here and that it wants to interact with the guests. Hyenas are a little bit um, odd, I guess, when they're young and they're really tough with their siblings. Like day one, they'll start battling with their siblings. As they get older, they're actually very friendly with other hyenas. They can be friends with their friends' friends. Hyenas will get together in groups of up to a hundred. That's insane. And they're incredible hunters. A lot of people just think of them as the janitors. They think of them as, you know, like vultures that are out there just cleaning up the area. And they do that too. But they're very, very good at making kills and hunting on their own. 
Lions actually steal more kills than hyenas do. That's crazy. Oh, you guys all having fun? Are you guys all having fun? Okay. Yeah. You want to play with him? He says, that's my dog. This is my dog. Come on. Go get him now. Go get your dog. <laughs> I don't know if there's another place on planet Earth right now where a chimp, a bulldog, and a hyena are playing. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> what Argos is eating and vice versa. Argos is actually on a very special diet, plus he is a bulldog, and he did have a little bit of trouble um, with stones. So he's on a specialized diet. He has to be moved around anytime anyone else has to be. Hi, <laughs> you're the cutest thing ever. You're the cutest thing ever. Okay, I need you guys to comment down below. Is this hyena way cuter than you guys thought hyenas were? <laughs> They've just been portrayed as bad animals for so long that I think people don't think they're cute, but this is an adorable face. Yeah! <laughs> Angara says, come get me. Angara loves dogs because he wants them to chase him and come and wrestle. So that's what he's doing when he's making all that noise and banging. He's saying, come get me, come get me, let's go play. <laughs> you guys are the cutest thing ever! And Argos did actually help raise the bigger hyena, but the bigger hyena outgrew him. So, he gotta move on to the little baby hyena. And I'm actually very, very glad because he knows how to raise a hyena already. <laughs> Look at these two. <laughs> Angara loves everything. He's such a sweet boy. Yeah. This is two months old. This is nine months. What? You're so big. <laughs> You're so big. And this is what a nine month old eats. Um, you can see we already got one kind of vitamin on it, but he takes several different vitamins. Get salt bay on there. Do you want to eat anything right now? You yeah, hungry? Do you want to eat anything right now? We got a variety here. We got beef, pork, and chicken. Are you just gonna roll in it? <laughs> just gonna roll in it? He says, I, I don't eat on camera. I don't want to eat on camera, no. Look, want some pork? You want some pork? She got pork for you. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the animals get nervous when there's someone filming. It does make it a little bit harder to just do what we normally do. Um, but of course we want to share our lives with you guys. We want to show you what it's like, especially for people that just really don't have the opportunity to come out and see these animals. This is an amazing way for you guys to learn and kind of participate a little bit, huh? Yes, you're so lovely. You're so lovely. You're so lovely. <laughs> Good baby. And Angada still likes them. <laughs> or her. <laughs> oh, you want more belly rubs? What do you think? If you don't want to eat, maybe we should go get what? You want to get what? So I think I said this in one of my videos before, but this is actually what they call a filiform. So it's a cat family. The reason I mention it is because it just licked my leg and it is, its tongue is so rough. It's crazy. How are you a cat? You don't look anything like a cat. <laughs> Let's go get wet. Yeah. One of Banzai's favorite things to do in life is to go swimming. He loves it more than literally anything else, and I had no idea hyenas even liked water. Uh, when we were living in Miami this past winter, I brought him out there every morning with the chimpanzees, so that's part of their morning routine, and he enjoyed it so much, he eventually started walking on the bottom of the pool next to the chimps and playing with them. So I like to bring him out here, especially now that it's starting to get warmer. That way he can cool off, get clean, because hyenas are dirty. Always dirty. Always dirty. <laughs> Can't bathe them enough. So every night Bonsai comes home, he lives with me, Cody, and Sugriva. He comes in at night, he watches TV with me until he gets tired, falls asleep, and then in the morning he goes back outside with his hyena buddies, and is a hyena for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you liked it, like it, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, stay wild.